good morning or good evening for you maybe. Joshua Delisle, designer blacksmith and today I'm on an adventure. I'm on my way to Salisbury Cathedral to do the final fittings and adjustments to the bell frame that I created. Now it's, had a, it's been there for a little while now and uh, it's all been finished and painted which I'm going to show you all got all since last time you saw it. The public have really enjoyed seeing it and using it now apparently. Uh, they would love it for everyone, you guys, to come to Salisbury Cathedral and give this big bell uh, a nice big gong and we'll listen to the sound that it makes. I mean the microphone that I've got on this camera won't pick up the beautiful tones that this bell creates but it's really quite spiritual. So I'm doing some little mechanical adjustments to the uh, locking mechanism uh, so that when it's in place it stays there because it's on wheels. I'm a little bit nervous as you can imagine because I don't want to get it wrong. There's always that dread that you've forgotten something. So I'm just on the motorway now doing two, and a, two hours journey over there. Hopefully it'll work out well. We'll have a good look around the cathedral as well shall we? be very brief because we're in the cathedral I don't want to cause too much attention to myself but I've just finished the locking mechanisms of the feet so here they work you can see this nice clean design and it's absolutely solid it's not going to go anywhere underneath you see there's these little pins just there so what happens is when I lift this up it locks into place and that pin has gone down, so I'm going to push it down now. Look at that. Perfect. So, I've just tapped it together with some Q2 
countersink bolts and on the other side where it was actually drilled all the way through I've used a special putty called Milliput so it's a two pack uh, epoxy putty and it dries black as well so that's finished it off really nicely as a little little tip oh, but it's really nice to hear that people really love it and they're excited about using it so the next project related to this is we're going to put a little handle to hold the hammer just here so that the public can get easy access to it. It's going to be tethered also so that they can use it. Shall we have a little go? I've got to get used to vlogging in public places a bit better, I think. I hope that was enough information anyway. And um, if you liked it, please give it a like and encourage these, these videos to continue. And, you know, if there's anything I've left out or you want to find out more about this project, just let me know. The chances are I'm going to be coming back to do a second run of fitting this new um, uh, hammer, if you like, for the public to use. So you're very welcome to come and use it. Have it a gong yourself and have a look at the ironwork, if you like. But yeah, if I've left anything out, do let me know and uh, I'll probably will, uh, address those comments on the next video. Alright, take care. Happy forging. A life worth living. See you later.